he's got supporters. Detroit, New York, Los Angeles, inciting large-scale arrests and sympathy marches. Hip-hop music wasn't around, you know, during the Civil Rights Movement. You know, so would you say this is your way of intertwining yourself in Dr. King's legacy by doing this movie? Dr. King is, is somebody I always loved, um, was inspired by. One of the first people that I looked at as a hero. It wasn't long ago, maybe within the past two years, because it was the anniversary for I Have a Dream speech that I was sitting in, in this apartment and I was like, man, I wanna strive to write, not just write songs that people are like, oh, this is dope, but I want things that will last forever, like this I Have a Dream speech. That's my mountaintop. Being a part of this legacy is bigger than just being a part of a song. It's really like, Life changing. Oh, you got to tap in your Chicago roots with your role, you know. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Change, yeah, change yeah for sure. Yeah, well, James Bevel, you know, he was from out of being in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, he eventually went to Nashville, moved to different places, but ended up in Chicago. I connected with some people that knew him and um, really got a lot of information about him, but I really made sure I focused on who he was up to 65. But you, I mean, you played a dual role, though. I mean, you had the, you know, you had the t daunting task of, you know, pinning the theme song for the movie as well. How, how much pressure did you have for pinning the word we fight? The song is called Glory, and um, it's me and John Legend. I have to say, it was one of those things where I felt like I loved this project so much that my heart and soul was just, it was, it, it was like second nature. Yeah, it was like this is what I do. This is who I am. Like I'm going, and I, and I noticed this. This story, and I've lived a lot of my life just wanting to be like in the shoes of these people. You think this movie could go on to be, you know, a teaching tool, you know, within the Black History Movement? Oh, for sure. Um, you know, a lot of times I listen to some of the films that people study in classes, and I think Selma would be a great education on strategy on the you know and, and power and numbers numbers that how, what it take it takes a community to to move things and there's also an underlying message too you know the importance of voting yes you think this could still you know fire in young people well i think this film would definitely inspire younger people to vote to appreciate voting to know what it took for them to be able to vote people will watch selma and they and they can see this is how, these are the steps you have to take Definitely. to do it. So yeah, I think Selma is so, Selma is so like relevant right now, it's, it's amazing.